I've gotten some comments asking for me to share my Unreal build script. It took some time to make it portable and easy to share, but I think it's finally in a good enough spot. So let me show you what it can do. The first example we're going to look at is a project I've been working on, a cooking roguelike. And you can see here it has a scripts directory. This is where I cloned the Tortellini repository to. So if we look inside the scripts folder, you can see a Steam upload folder, since this tool can handle Steam uploads, which I'll talk about in a minute. Then there's the build script, build.ps1. And there's some shell scripts here because there is a Linux version, but it's not quite ready to share. So in my project, if I run scripts build.ps1, it'll build the editor. And you can see here, it's doing an incremental build. If I wanted to do a clean build, I could pass the clean flag. All right, that's finally done. A convenient flag is the dash and run. It'll build the editor, this time not with clean, and then run the exe for you. The main feature of the script is that it uses this engine association to detect which engine to use for your game. In my case, I have this long string of numbers called a GUID or a UUID, and that's because I'm using a source build, which means I have the engine source locally built myself. But if you were using the Epic Games Launcher, then yours might look a little bit different. So you can see I have the 5.4 preview installed via the Epic Games Launcher. So I went ahead and grabbed this Valley of the Ancient sample and added the engine association 5.4. I can go ahead and clone my script into the scripts folder and then I can run my build. And you can see it found the UE54 build, but the build failed. Couldn't find target rules for the target Valley of the Ancient Editor. This is because of the way my script tries to automatically determine your targets. For now, the way I decide which target to use is I grab the U project and I either use that name, or I add editor to it. Really what I should do is try to find your source folder and then look up which target files exist. For now, if your game target is anything other than this U project, or if your editor target is anything other than the U project name plus editor, you can pass in dash game target, your game's target, dash editor target, your editor's target. So for Valley of the Ancient, their targets are ancient game and ancient game editor. And since we're doing an editor build, we can do dash editor target ancient game editor. And you can see the build completed successfully. To run a game build of your game, you can run dash local game build. The same caveat applies of needing to pass in a target if your targets aren't guessed appropriately. This will build and cook your game, and then when it's done, it will open the folder where it put your game. Here you can see it opened my game, and I can just double click this exe, and it's launched. Now let's say we want to upload that same game to Steam. The first thing you need to do is download the Steamworks SDK from the Steam Partner website. Then you can go into the zip, SDK, Tools, Content Builder, and then the Builder folder, and grab steamcmd.exe. Copy this to the Steam Upload Builder folder. You'll also need to set up a VDF file in the Steam Upload folder. I included a sample one in the repo. You need to set your Steam password as an environment variable using this syntax. And now you can call build.ps1-steamupload-steamusername, your username, dash steam branch, and then the name of your VDF file. So you can see to target my VDF file called getting baked, I pass getting baked. This will build your game in the same way that local game build does, but then it will copy it over to the Steam upload folder and then upload it to Steam. If your password wasn't set correctly, you may get this password prompt. If this is the first time you're running the script, you may also get a Steam Guard 2FA code prompt. 
This is coming from the Steam CMD client. This is not coming from my script. So you can see here I logged in manually and I'm getting a Steam Guard code request. So there we can see it's finished scanning and uploading my content. And if I go to Steam, sometimes you need to go offline and then back online. You can see I have an update queued. And there you go. That is my Unreal and Steam build slash upload script. Hopefully it'll be useful to you. If there's anything I can do to make it more useful, let me know in the comments or add an issue to the GitHub page. Thanks for watching.